Hey guys, uh, thank you for tuning in for another Daily Shave with West Coast Shaving. Uh, I'm Noah around here, I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, what am I going to be using today? Uh, my choice of soap is Taxes by Declaration Grooming. Now this is a dupe scent for Dior's Sauvage. Um, I've smelled quite a few um, Sauvage scents and frankly I think this is possibly the most accurate. The ones I've tried previously are PAA's Doppelganger in the Black Label and Oleo Soapworks Empire. And I have to say that I think this is the most accurate to the scent. So yeah, that's my soap. And I'm looking forward to using that. I'm gonna be pairing that with the, uh, with the matching aftershave splash, which you see here. My choice of razor today it's gonna to probably be my favorite razor on the market today at the moment, and that is the Carve Shaving Co. Christopher Bradley. I had the pleasure of having a good chat with uh, Chris Kirchin at um, Big Shave Southwest. Cracking guy, great company. My brush of choice today is the Wolf Whiskers Custom. This is in their Zen Garden pattern uh, handle you see there, really nice. And the knot is a black wolf synthetic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get the bit of bloom water I have and I'm going to put it in the lid, which you can see here. Now let's get a good load on the brush. So rule of thumb for me, if I'm using synthetic brushes, I load for about 30 seconds. If I'm using badger brushes, I load for about I'd say 40 to 45, I think that's normally safe where, in terms of the parameters I tend to go. So, uh, the soap has a good layer loosened, and that's loud. So I'm gonna load for 30 seconds. Um, this is in the Declaration Grooming Icarus space. I have a decent amount of experience with this space, and in my opinion, this is one of the better bases on the market. Um, yeah, you know, I I'm looking forward to using this soap. I'm a big fan of the scent. I have the cologne, so having another kind of soap to, I guess, match with the cologne isn't a bad thing. I have both uh, Black Label by Doppelganger and Empire by Oleo Soapworks, so another one can't hurt, I guess. <laughs> Loading up here. Uh, gets onto the brush extremely easily, kind of what I remember from this soap base. I like to apply the lather fairly dry and uh, incrementally add water, like quite a lot of wet shavers do. I find it kind of yields more consistent results. And in terms of scent, like this is almost perfect. Uh, I found the other two I mentioned previously to be off just slightly. So yeah, really, really happy with uh, the job he's done on this scent. Okay, so I think that's a good enough load for me in the brush there. So all I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take my glasses off here. I'm not one of those guys that shaves with the glasses on. I'm gonna add the bloom water to my face. Wow, really good scent strength. Um, I'd probably give it about a six. Uh, Really nice for a cologne scent. Makes me look forward to see the staying power of the uh, aftershave. Kind of rule of thumb for me really isn't to consider using an aftershave as cologne that I'm really designed by that. Okay, let's lather up. So, this is one of the good bases. For any of you that's come across any of my videos before, not on this channel, but on my other channel, um, I love to lather. Getting a decent covering here. Um, I 
As far as I'm concerned, it's kind of nowhere near ready yet, so let's keep going here. I'd like to thank um, Abraham for letting me on the channel. Uh, I'm thrilled to be able to kind of bring my videos to a wider audience. I'd say the consistency is almost there, but um, again, I like to lather, so. <laughs> A lot of people will probably stop here, but I'm going to keep going. It's getting the consistency I want. Now all we're gonna do is start painting water in. Using the flow through of soap on the brush to give it that extra layer of hydration. And uh, we'll get there. So it's kind of convenient. Uh, you may tell by my accent, I'm from the UK and um, I live in the United States, so I have a pretty good access to all of these good products. I don't need to pay uh, really large shipping fees, so that's obviously a good thing. <laughs> Again, using the flow through on the brush to get it as slick as I possibly can here. The scent is um, wonderful. Uh, as I stated, I love the scent, so. Okay, I think we're good here. So let's uh, kind of clean up a bit. Kind of do that line. If anyone remembers uh, Christopher David Bailey's videos, he still makes videos, but um, one of the things he used to do quite a lot was uh, this line, and I call it the CDB line, because he still does it to this day. There we go, I think that's okay. Um, Cool, okay, uh, I forgot a towel, I'll be back. Cool, that's done. So, I'm happy with the lava there. Don't worry, I don't take anywhere near this one to show. <laughs> Okay, so in the uh, car, shaving car, Christopher Bradley razor, I have a third use Gillette NASA. Let's go uh, with the grain. Very slick. Kind of what I would expect from this soap base. How much experience do you guys have with the soap base? Uh, leave a comment if you want to try the soap base. I, I urge you to, it's very good. I 
I'd say my only issue with this razor, the, the overall shave is phenomenal, but um, I would say it has more than a little bit of overhang. And what I mean by overhang, if you have a look, kind of where the blade is, if the camera's focusing, it's a little bit of overhang there. Um, it can be a bit of a pain on some occasions, but it doesn't really matter too much. As long as you're mindful, you'll be okay. Okay, that's our first pass done. Um, I'd probably take a bit longer to lather than actually shave. So let me wash my face and we'll go for pass two. Something that's important for me to mention is I shave predominantly with cold water. Um, I find that it works best for me. I also live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it's extremely hot here. So, you know, there's that too. Face feels very hydrated, feels excellent. Let's lather up. So I'd say everyone kind of has a stage where they're happy to get their lather to. Um, I've said a few times on my own channel that I like to kind of push a soap to its limit, see how much it can be hydrated. So there are times when I've used soaps that have a really, really large hydration band. So here, I've actually dipped the brush again and we're gonna see what the soap can do. I found that the best soaps can just keep taking water and um, because of that become kind of more, more, I guess, voluminous and slick as a result. And uh, this Icarus base is no exception to that. As a general rule, um, I don't value protecting quite as much as slickness on this pass, but I think just to get a good impression of the soap base, I think it's important that I try and add more water than um, you normally would, just to see what happens, you know, because you guys may have a different lathering technique or I guess you're looking for a different thing with your lathers. I think that's uh, more than good enough for a second pass here. Let's get all of the um, soap on the brush. Let's do this area. Very nice. It smells good, I don't need it up my nose. Uh, okay, so let's do an across the grain pass here. Very slick. Very nice. This has quickly turned into one of my go-to razors. I've found that it highlights many, many good kind of attributes of blades. And because of that, if you have a blade you generally lean towards, it's a pleasure to use um, the razor. Very nice.
I'll reiterate the point there. As far as scent goes, it's one of the uh, better kind of dupes of Sauvage. Let's do a, I'm not gonna rinse off here. We're just gonna do a straight against the grain pass. I'd say I like to approach this pass um, a tiny bit more efficiently, you know? And what I mean by that is uh, very minimal pressure. Don't try to overlap or do your best. I also like to share with the mantra of if you miss it once, don't keep trying to go over the same spot to get it again. Because that's how you get irritation. So my aim of shaving isn't particularly BBS. It's above par and I tend to do that without getting too much to any irritation at all. The real sensitive part of my kind of shaving routine, I guess, is my neck. And there are always going to be spots that are shaved closer with your two like previous passes than your against the grain pass. Wonderful slickness from the uh, soap here. Okay, so I'm gonna get all the soap from here. If you guys have watched Kevy Shaves, um, he likes to get all of the remaining soap from the brush and create a face wash, and I also do the same, so. Let's do that. Great scent, <laughs> really nice scent. Okay, so uh, let me wash this off my face and uh, we get into the post show. Oh, lovely cold water. Let's uh, check for the post shave on this. Wow. I mean, I've used the base before, but it surprises me every time. It's phenomenal. Okay, so here's the after shave I'll show you. And let's give it a good shape. I hope it focused. I'm not wearing glasses, so I can't see very well. Uh, the ingredients for this are really good. Nothing that uh, kind of strikes me as unnatural, so. There is a restrictor on this, but um, which does an okay job. Does it have alcohol in it? Uh, not that I can see. Yes, it does, but let's see what the burn is like, shall we? Not generally a fan of burn. Mmm, wow, really nice bit of menthol. I'd say I'm a real sucker for menthol. Wow, okay, that was a fantastic shave. Uh, to go over the products I used today then, I went with uh, Taxes by Declaration Grooming in my software department, and that obviously then includes the, the aftershave. My razor of choice today was the 
Carve Shaving Co. Christopher Bradley Raisin on this. I have a C plate, um, just normal safety bar version there. And my brush of choice, which is uh, looking a bit worse for wear, is my Wolf Whiskers Zen Garden Custom with a black wolf nut. Uh, yeah, kind of as I stated before, I do have my own YouTube channel. Uh, it's under the Virtual Groom Room. Uh, I like to do different types of shaving videos, you know, where I review products, stuff like that. If you haven't checked me out, I'd really appreciate if you guys could. Apart from that, have great shaves. Have a good day. Goodbye for now.